Hello, we're going on holiday. So today, I am packing up one of the cars. We're gonna go pick it up and we're going on holiday. I'd usually do the intro facing the camera, but I'm in a rush. We got one bag with work documents, one bag with cameras, and then one bag with clothes. Here we go. Right, first things first, we take the Twizzy down in the lift. Okay, okay, okay. Shoot. Fail. <sighs> Okay, so the reason I'm taking this down is because we're gonna park it in my parking space down below So it's all nice down there. Hello. Now I can actually say proper hi, not with the POV. We're gonna take the Ferrari now Okay Now it's time to wake everyone up <coughs> Gotta push it to fit inside this car in my parking space Avocado, avocado. Boom. Boom. Booms. Ah, that's close. Step one complete. Right, so apart from the fact that I'm very happy to have an excuse to drive the Ferrari and then the Porsche, because I'm actually on my way to pick up my Porsche Turbo S, because that is the better road trip car, Apple CarPlay, all that jazz. So we'll be taking that. What's slightly frustrating, even though it is fantastic to be able to drive both, is that they were both spotlessly clean and I need to take this to go pick up the other one and it's raining. So two cars, dirty, in about 10 minutes. Fantastic. Why is it every time that you're late, like very late, that there's always traffic? Okay, 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 okay. Let's be quick. Ta-da! The Porsche. Okay. Right, does the Porsche have as much space as the Ferrari in its front boot? Number one. Okay, perfect. Okay. Memory seat is perfect, back in position. You need to go front in for the charger. Can't see anything in this car. Okay. That was some pretty close parking. Trickle charger. Put this on. There we go. All right. Here we go. Huh. Very cool. Very nice. Well, I'm going to leave you guys because I'm a little bit late. I'll come back to you in a little bit. All right, we're back now, and it's uh, the next morning, actually. And I've now got Marion's bags, and we're gonna need to try and fit those in the car as well. So we've got two extra bags and some jackets. Aren't we gonna be able to fit everything in the boot? Oh, I think we might be able to get everything in, apart from the jacket. Question is, will that close? Fantastic. Right, so we've now got about four hours of driving. Okay, here we go. Right, we need to fill the car up quickly. Da, 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 da. It's much cheaper to fill up here in France than in Italy. And they've only got 95 octane in Italy and there's 98 here. Nice little aluminium fuel filler cap. 44 euros, it was about half full. So that'll do, hopefully it's about 400 kilometers there. Hopefully that should be enough. How much does it say? 406 kilometers, 368 kilometers. Right guys. So, cruising on the motorway now, I've been using the adaptive cruise control, which is fantastic in this car. It's actually an option, even in the Tow OS, to have the highest uh, type of cruise control. There's a couple uh, different options you can get. This one's really good because I basically just need to worry about indicating and steering. And I set my speed, so 110 kilometers now here. And then if I've got a truck which pops up in front of me, look, there's one coming here, so we'll be able to, to show you it will automatically slow down. So I'm doing 110 kilometers an hour now. My feet aren't touching any of the pedals. I can set also the distance I want the car to, to get to the vehicle in front. So look right now, should start braking any minute. There we go. Goes down from 110, adapts itself to the speed of the truck ahead. If I indicate and move across, it should, there we go, accelerate back up to 110. Really good system, it's quite smooth. On some cars it's kind of really grabby. And this one is really nice and smooth. Sound deadening is really nice. Now next to me, as you can tell, there's basically an office here, whether it's weekend, weekday or anything. She doesn't stop. She's a machine working. It does mean, however, that I'm not allowed to put music on or do anything. So 
it's, it's just you and me right now, guys. And uh, I'm having fun playing around with my adaptive cruise control and all sorts of different things. I got my heated steering wheel, little button behind the steering wheel here. Bosch, whack that on, and off we go. Apple CarPlay doing brilliantly. We wanted to be there for lunchtime, but unfortunately there's so many roadworks on these Italian motorways. There was a, a tragic accident on one of the bridges here on this motorway where the bridge actually fell. And so now they're, they're, look here, we've got roadworks coming up in 700 meters. Most bridges are now put down into one lane only as to not have too many cars on a bridge at once so it means that uh it makes this trip considerably longer it's added about an hour or something to the trip so it's the way it is better safe than sorry but it does mean that the adaptive cruise control is relaxing because we're obviously accelerating and braking quite a lot and i'm not having to do any of it fantastic services this is where you either win or lose all your time during a road trip nice jew wagon carbon effect very nice Little Porsche. Okay, we got sandwiches here over there. They actually do like pizzas and all that jazz, but we don't have time to go, unfortunately. Great success. All right. We have everything now. Here we go. Apple CarPlay, Apple CarPlay, come on. Right, goodbye to this beautiful uh, village of wherever we are. I don't know exactly where we are, to be completely honest with you. This doesn't say anything. I need to know where I'm going. Right, here we go. Good thing I just had the whole interior of the car clean. Just in time to go for a road trip. Nice one, Seb. Look at this. Hmm. Whoa. We're towards Lake Como. Yes, hello. This is uh, Sebastian Delaney. Yes, I have welcome, a... Mr. Delaney. Perfect. You can drive through and I hope you like your here. Awesome. I just drive up and to the right, yeah? Okay. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> All right. This seems like the appropriate time now to show you the room. Hello. This is, first of all, what I look like with this camera on my head. Not ideal, I do realize this. Now, I'm showing you the room because I love, first of all, having room tours. I find it quite cool and uh, inspiring and aspirational when I see a cool hotel room to uh, to be able to hopefully stay there one day. So I wanted to share that with you, but also because I found this place on Instagram and it opened just before uh, lockdowns, the first lockdowns. I thought it was really cool. And so we've come here now, but we're some of the first people to stay here. And obviously it's been tricky for them because, uh, yeah, open just before lockdown, haven't been able to be open. So I just wanted to put a link down below. And if we can support them, if you feel like staying somewhere near Lake Como, this place is awesome. They've been so, so nice. And so I just kind of wanted to, to yeah, show you guys and give you guys a link, which will be in the description down below. So a little tour of our room. First of all, bathroom here, super nice, all this marble finish. Now I've got my swimming trunks, which are drying off there. We've got this beautiful uh, bath, which I have to admit we haven't used yet, but at some point potentially. We've got my ugly face with the GoPro on it again. And yeah, just really nice, modern. Everything's brand new, obviously, because this place is brand new. So quite cool. Uh, big mirrors here. Uh, I'll get back to that in a second. This is kind of like cupboard space, clothing space. You've got your coffee little center, center station there. Another mirror where you can see my ugly face again with the GoPro. This is one of the coolest things which I had never seen before in a hotel room. It's a steam, steam room basically, but it's in your room. So you don't need to go down to like a spa and out of your room. As soon as you're done outside or you just want to relax in your room, all you have to do is, yeah, put this thing on. All of a sudden, I'm not going to get too close because it'll steam the lens up. But all of a sudden, see, you got your own little steam room. It puts relaxing music on, different scents as well. So it's more elaborate than a sauna. Um, I think it's awesome. So, so nice. Used it a couple of times um, already uh, since we've been here. Little dinner area if you get room service. Marion over there having a little go at a little drink that we just ordered. Massive bed, which is about the size of my bedroom at home. And then this is nice, look, every evening we get this, these little drinks and a couple of little snacks. But the whole room is controlled with this iPad. So if I open this iPad right here, you can see you do all the lights, everything basically through this iPad. Now, I can also show you what is hiding, which is the piece de resistance, the kind of cool bit, the coolest bit about this hotel and this specific room as well. The view, which currently it is pouring with rain, <laughs> which is not ideal, but the view is outrageous. So we're at Lake Como, obviously, but this is another smaller lake right next to Lake Como. You're like really not far from Lake Como, but it's nice because it's a bit less busy and it's super quaint, really, really nice. Obviously, the weather is the one thing we can't control. 
and we haven't been very lucky, especially because apparently last week it was sunny and 30 degrees, and now look at it, it's not cold, but it's pouring with rain. So you're on the lake, so it's the most amazing view, like when you wake up, I mean, I don't know if you'll be able to see it now, when you wake up, we left the blinds open, you just wake up and it's like you're in a, on a boat, basically. And another little seating area here, and a hot tub. Really cool hot tub, which we have used, because even if it is raining, you can still be in here. Super nice. Um, just being again being able to have your own hot tub in your room is so nice because you don't need to go down to a spa or to a pool area It's just right here. So between the steam room and this you feel like you've got everything you need in your in your room You got the mountains over there. It's beautiful. It is a shame. It's raining. I have to admit But uh, it is what it is. There's another terrace. So the terrace is huge. Oh look at this I'm gonna dig into that in not long The terrace is absolutely massive when you do the whole thing so this is like, a, I don't know, a tanning area, or, which we obviously haven't been able to use yet, but huge, huge terrace. Now I am going to take this GoPro off my head and get straight into all of this and then that and then this. But what an amazing place. So I really wanted to, um, to show you so that we can, if ever you are interested, show some support and mainly just when there's somewhere cool that I end up finding, I, I enjoy sharing it with you. So maybe this will be a top tip for one of your upcoming holidays, but yeah. The coolest kind of other cool thing about this place is that the chef, I believe, has one Michelin star and he's about to cook us a meal. I'll just give you a little bit, a couple highlights of that meal, which we're about to go have now. And then tomorrow we're going to go explore the towns around. Nice Seb, to Robert, nice, to nice to meet, to meet you. you. Hi, Thank you. Look at this. We've got uh, the view of the lake behind us. We're going to have a little dinner. Shall we discover the menu? We've got a set menu. Cheers. Cheers. Very cool. Guys, I'm not just saying this because that was unbelievable. It's like a caprese salad. I'm becoming, this is gonna be a food blog. By the end of this video, it's gonna be a food blog. Unreal. Ooh, cool. Ooh. Sorry. Ooh, look, 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 look. Yeah, buddy. We're not used to this, if you, if you can't tell. Amazing. Okay, so they just gave us some olive oil, which in 2015 or 2016 was the best olive oil in the world, apparently, voted. Okay, what is this? Gorgeous. Oh, good morning. Wakey, wakey. Oh, yes. It's good weather. Right, I think you've understood. It is the next morning. And now I can show you the view. So you can now see what was hidden behind the wall of clouds and rain, which obviously we kept falling throughout the night. Look at this beautiful lake, amazing mountains. And we are either going to drive, go for a drive, or we're gonna cycle around to that village over there to go have lunch. I don't know, but this is different for me, not vlogging a car, kind of vlogging this whole weekend and experience, but I'm enjoying it. Don't know if you guys will hear the difference between normal and sport. There's a little bit of an exhaust difference. I filmed a little clip for you yesterday where we did basically what we're doing today, which is got lost in the Italian roads. Only difference is it was chucking it down with rain. But I have a little bit of a, ooh, we're gonna need the lift for this one. Little bit of an announcement when it comes to the exhaust. Anyways, here's yesterday with the bad weather. Look at that, Lake Como. It's the next morning now and how unbelievable, how beautiful is this? Okay, the one thing you can't control is the weather and unfortunately we haven't been very lucky with it. Anyways, we're still hoping we're gonna bump into George Clooney who has a house around here. Fingers crossed for us guys. <laughs> no, all jokes aside, we decided to still explore the area. I've decided to still explore sport mode on the Turbo S, despite the weather. We've got some beautiful little Italian roads and it would be a shame not to make the most of it regardless. So we're gonna drive around and because you know we're taking you around for every little detail of this trip. I don't know if it's gonna be one video, two videos, what's gonna make it into the edit and what's not. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm happy to have the four wheel drive right now because it really grips the road, even in this damn weather. But look how beautiful, I really hope you can see it because the weather might mean that you can't quite see, but we've got Lake Como right there. If you have the opportunity, Oh, to come to this part of the part of the world it is so beautiful But even just take your car out and go for a little weekend away little car trip and use the cars as they're meant to be used Despite the weather whatever you may fall on and wherever you may be It's so worth it and it's why we all pet your heads It's why we love these types of cars and also everyone's saying that this car needs an exhaust I completely agree with you and I've ordered one so there we go It's gonna be a kind of custom-made 
I don't know exactly what it's going to sound like. You can hear in sport mode, there's already a few little burbles coming from this exhaust already. That's going to be amplified. Look, tiny little roads, but beautiful. That's going to be amplified with the new exhaust. So I've ordered it with Quicksilver and it's going to be a, a completely new one. So I'm excited to, to hear what it's going to be like, because obviously with it being uh, new and different to their other exhaust that they offer for, for this model, I don't know what it's going to sound like because there aren't any videos on YouTube. So I'm excited to receive it. Obviously, it will all be filmed. And I just wanted to let you know now that it is on the way. It is in production. No idea when it will get here, but soon, hopefully. Anyways, now shall we try and look for a nice little Italian restaurant, shall we? Yeah. Keep living our little Italian dream. Work. There's this feeling of like invincibility and go anywhere with the Turbo S, whether it's raining, snowing, sunny, hot, cold. It will always be there. It will always put its power down and be so usable. It's not huge so on these little roads. It's just such, such a complete car. And it works in every scenario. That's what's so amazing about it. I have yet to put it somewhere where the car doesn't feel comfortable. Welcome back to today where I am spending my life going over speed bumps. And we are completely lost and there don't seem to be many restaurants <laughs> around where we are right now. We, all we want is a bowl of classic Italian pasta. Right, we're now continuing by foot because we weren't sure if we would A, make it through here and B, be able to park. It's, it's supposed to be here on the right. I mean, it looks lovely, but it doesn't look very open. Does it go on my side? Ah! Viva Italia. So the restaurant was closed, but they have another restaurant half an hour away, which does classic Italian food. So we figured why not? Right, I'd love to tell you where we are. What's the name of the lake? Do you know? Lago di Segrino. Lago di Segrino, another lake on our way to this famous, probably not very famous, I don't know if it's gonna be good, if it's gonna be pretty. We have no idea what this place is gonna be like, but that is the point of this trip. Look how beautiful it is though. Awesome. We're gonna get manual to test the launch control in the Turbo S. Manual, Sport Plus. No. <laughs> says we've arrived. So we just saw a sign for the restaurant, literally as I was about to turn around. But I mean, where are we? Nice road though. Yeah. Oh my God. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. She's taking her photos, but guys, look at this. How cool is this? Out of the blue, completely, we've ended up here. There was uh, literally <laughs> nothing telling us it would be this cool, honestly. This is a really good surprise. I kind of don't really know how to react. Anyways, we now need to hope they have a, a table. Cheers. We managed to find a restaurant. Well, as we're in Italy, we've gone pasta. Would be a bit of a shame not to get pasta when in Italy. There we go, done. I parked pretty far forward. Four hour drive now. Uh, we get home at around 9 p.m. Here we go, a bottle of water. Da, 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 da. Okay, we, uh, we obviously have got quite a bit of road to go until we get back because I don't know where we are, but we are completely in the middle of the Italian countryside. I mean, look at this. How is this the main road? <laughs> this is the kind of road where with the Ferrari you would panic because it's so low, carbon front splitter and so wide, whereas this one's... Una. Well, there you go. <laughs> Uh, ah. ah, amazing. Thank you very much. Grazie mille. This is the kind of road where you'd panic in the Ferrari because it's so low with a carbon front splitter, the whole ordeal, really wide as well. But with this, see, look, a bump arrives like that, just a little break and you're good to go. It's not too low, it's not too wide. So you can drive these kinds of roads and it's, uh, it's no big deal in this car, which is what makes this such a complete package. So we quit the sun and very quickly are in some pretty serious rain. This is, this is ridiculous. Blue sky right there and we're in the middle of a bloody hurricane. Driving nice and slow, 100 kilometers an hour. Better safe than sorry. The car feels very stable though. It's not the lightest of all 911, so it feels pretty solid on its feet. For those who are wondering, I can see my, oh look, it stopped. 12 liters per 100 kilometers. Don't know what that is in miles per gallon. Can someone put in the comments down below the conversion? But it's more than what it, what it used to be. Uh, well, what it used to be. When I drove down from Geneva, it was 
not as bad as that, but that's still not that bad. Look at that. That is the tallest building in Monaco right there, which means we are home, we are back. It's been a super smooth drive. It always amazes me how incredible this car is on the motorway. And then as soon as you get to the small roads, you can have a couple of little accelerations and have a good time. But anyways, all that to say, this has been a completely different kind of um, filming rather than focusing on a car and a specific review. It was kind of a real bring you along on a little adventure I was going on. Have we had a great time, didn't we? Yes. yes? It was so, so much fun. Feels surreal to be able to go on those kind of experiences. And uh, just something I really wanted to share with you guys as well, because yeah, it's super special for me, so I thought maybe it would uh, interest some of you guys. So let me know. I'm going to give the camera to Mario here so that I can at least say goodbye whilst looking at you guys. It's fun doing all of this as a POV. I like the, you know, when I'm uh, working on the videos and I watch the videos back, I uh, enjoy having that immersive experience. So let me know what you guys think of that. Comment down below. Please subscribe if you aren't already. There's about 60% of the people watching the videos these days that are not subscribed. So it'd mean the world to me if you do subscribe, if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you again very soon. Let me know what you thought of the video, but uh, yeah, thank you. And thanks, Mario. Bye-bye.